Hey everybody, welcome to Bestie Book Reviews. I'm here with the Bestie Mandy. And I'm here with my Bestie Jessica. So today's video is romantic suspense. We're going to give you all of these. I know, Mandy, we both like romantic suspense. I do. But we've got 10 recs for you um, that bring the suspense. <laughs> I mean, really, that's what it is, right? I like a good mystery. Yeah, suspenseful elements going on in these mm -hmm. books. Uh, before we jump into the books, what do you want to tell them, Mandy? I was like, you're being suspenseful. Oh, I was like, why isn't she talking? <laughs> this is bringing a whole new element. <laughs> wow. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. So you are entered into our Road to 2K giveaway. We have these fun books coming up and we have other things planned as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and always check back to see our recent videos. Okay. All right. So you ready to dive in? I'm ready. Is the suspense building? Yeah. I also have 17 mosquito bites. I'm very itchy. You're very itchy. Did you try the pickle thing like I told you? I didn't. I use tea tree oil, which usually really helps, but I need to like I need to dose up again. Maybe I should I mean, just go cover myself in pickles for our video. Well, the pickle thing was not. It wasn't on a hoarder episode, but it was on like a. They're so cheap. They do weird things. A type of uh, like clip that I saw, and I I don't I I don't know how legit that is, but try it. <laughs> how desperate are you? I don't know. Okay. Anyhow, let's talk about books. <laughs> Please. <laughs> All right. So I'm not going to keep you in suspense any longer. I'm going to give you my first one. So my first book is um, A London Villain by Catherine Wiltshire. So this is Mafia. But this talk is, is about Ada and Frank. Um, it starts out when Frank is young. He sees Ada dancing in this white dress. Um, her mom was a dancer, a, like ballerina, and she's teaching her daughter. And he sees her through the window on a really crappy day for him. And he's just smitten by this girl. And then we fast forward a handful of years later. Now they're teenagers, late teens. And he sees her once again. He knows it's her just by the hair color and the eyes and, and you know, that she's gotten older. And he follows her into a, a library because he's seeing she's got like marks on her neck. And he's like, what is going on there? They have their second or their original first meet cute, but he meets her for the second time over the count of Monte Cristo. And that just leads to this fling that they have, this little love affair. She is engaged to a guy from the Bratva. She is Irish. Um, and I believe that Frank is Italian mafia, but he's, he's British. But anyhow, he, um, they have a fling and uh, it's found out and they're caught. And because of this, horrible things happen to her. She's still forced into this marriage and they are separated for 14 years. Then they get thrown back in each other's orbit. Um, she's still married. She's being abused by the husband. The people who are after them are not nice. They're very cruel. And there is a lot that happens once they get together. I know I didn't really describe the suspenseful elements, but those come after they're together um, later on in the book, like the once they meet back up. So loved this one. I like Catherine Wiltshire's writing so much. Um, and I think that it's important to continue to read her books, even though she has gone. So we're going to do that. Okay. okay. On that somber note. Sorry. <laughs> my next book is called Strong and Steady by Vanessa Hale. We have Cowboy. We have an MMA fighter. And we have Romantic Suspense. Along with a mature heroine. So we're just knocking it right out of the park here with all these different tropes. So Emery is our heroine. Her son has recently left for college and she has decided now is the time to put herself back out there and start dating. But dating is like very different now than it was when she was younger. So she's trying to navigate that a little bit and she finds Grayson. And Grayson is our cowboy who is a former MMA fighter. And he 
is really just taken with Emery. And something is happening. There's like weird things keep happening. Like her window gets broken out in her house, different things like that. And so Grayson is trying to figure out who is doing this stuff, if it has something to do with his past, if it's something else is happening. But regardless, he is determined to keep Emery safe. So that is my first romantic suspense. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. So my next book is also cowboy. Ooh, I know. We have a theme um, I read today. This, huh? We have a theme. We have a theme. Read but I'm going to obliterate that theme in my next book. <laughs> same, same. So I read this last week. I know a lot of you guys were looking forward to reading it when it was released this week. Um, and now it is available. So that is Where There's a Will by Ember Hughes. This is a dark cowboy, captor captive, mute heroine. Um, there is trafficking. There is, uh, it's a second chance in a childhood romance. Like they start as children and then it gets older. So friggin' good. Uh, but this is about Colton and Kenley. Colton and Kenley met, and we see this stuff kind of go back and forth in flashbacks, but Colton and Kenley met when they were in elementary school. She's a year younger than him. Uh, she just moved to town, and lo and behold, her dad bought the ranch next door to Colton's family. And so they are together all the time. They are together until they are in their teens. When Colton is 17 and Kenley is 16, something happens that causes a breakup. And we don't find out for quite a while what happens, but something happens that causes a breakup. And Colton thinks, he's like, I can't do this anymore. So he takes off and he goes from Wyoming to Texas to work a ranch. And he is there for, um, I think it was 10 years. Yeah, he's there for 10 years. Then he gets a call from his sister that something has happened with their ranch at home and he has to go home. She needs him. Um, his sister lives on the ranch with her dad. Their dad had been drinking and he's basically kind of signed away the ranch. And so he to the neighboring guy, to Kenley's father. Nobody has seen Kenley in like, you know, nine, eight, nine years at this point. He hasn't seen or heard from her. Not that he wants to, but he hasn't. So he and his buddy go home. And when they find out what's happened with the ranch, he goes next door. He sneaks into the office to find out what was going, what happened, what's going on here. From there, it becomes a captor captive situation. And when he sees Kenley again, she's mute. She does not talk. And he's chained up in a basement and she's, they're not talking to him. So what is going on? Why doesn't she talk? Why is he being held? Like what is happening here? So there is so much to this book. Oh my God, it is so good. Cannot wait for book two. So this one does end on an HEA for this couple. The second book will be out um, earlier next year, sometime in 2025. And it's um, a different couple, but it is set up in this book. So. Okay. There's a lot of suspense in this one. All right. Okay. My next one is The Five Year Lie by Serena Bowen. Whew. And the, this book just got me right away because we have Ariel who receives a text message from the only man she's ever loved, but he died five years ago. So, how is he texting her? That is quite the mystery already. And this just really starts to bring up her, she just starts to question everything when she receives this text message because he mysteriously kind of disappeared out of her life. And then she finds out that he is dead. In the meantime, she discovers she's pregnant. She now has a son that he's never met, doesn't even know he has because he died. Or did he? Because he's texting her. Nothing makes sense right now. And so she is on a journey to figure out what on earth went on. And this is told in dual timelines. So we go back and kind of see their relationship as it progresses. And then her trying to figure out what is going on. How did she get this text message? Is somebody playing a cruel joke on her? Like what has happened? So I can't give any more information because this book, you just, that's all you need to know. Go read it. It is incredible. It very is. suspenseful. Yes. Yep. Okay. So the next book that I have is called Counts of Eight. It's by Bryn Ford. It's the first in, I believe, a trilogy. It's the um, Four Families. It's the name of the trilogy. So this is about Anya and Ezra. So Ezra is kidnapped and he's brought to this compound and he's, you know, the, the door is open, the, the thing comes off of his head and he's like, what the heck is going on? And that is where he meets Anya. Anya is a captive 
of the mafia, so of the, the Russian mafia, so of the Bratva. And she is a ballerina and she is forced to perform in order to keep her alive for the Bratva. Like she's a prima ballerina. They kidnapped her when she was young and they kept her there. And Ezra is being brought in as her dance partner. And she's gone through several dance partners because if they fail, they die. And so she has to train Ezra to be the best dance partner she has ever had because both of their lives are on the line. So what happens when they fail? What, what happens in that situation? Like what is going on here? So that's all I'm gonna tell you guys about this one, but it is really good, it's really good. Um, ends on massive cliffhangers, the first two books. So just, just put it out there, but so they're all out though. You can go read them all, so. Okay, what do you got? My next one is Beyond the Thistles by Samantha Young. And this is the first book in the Highland series. So we have Sloan, who is our heroine. She is on the run. She, um, her daughter's father is not a good man. And she decides the only, like there's an altercation between the two of them. And she takes their daughter and runs. And her daughter is 10. So they go to this swanky resort in the Scottish Highlands uh, where she works as a, a housekeeper there. And this is like only for like ultra famous people go here. It's like a retreat type place. So this is where she's working and hiding out from all that stuff. And Walker works here. Walker is one of the bodyguards, but he is the bodyguard for like the famous people that come and stay there. And he, he's like very closed off and guarded, but you can tell that he kind of likes Sloan. Sloan kind of likes him, but he will not act on any of it, which is extremely frustrating for Sloan, as we can all imagine. And then things start happening that puts Sloan in danger and Walker immediately steps up to protect her. And things get interesting from there, but Sloan is desperate to keep herself and her daughter safe and we don't understand we don't know what is going on with this because there's there's lots of stuff happening so suspenseful okay and i'm not sure i have the next couple of books in the series i haven't read them so i don't know if this is like a romantic suspense and the next one's going to be different but it kind of sounds like the whole series has the romantic suspense yeah. to it it kind of gives those Catherine Cowles vibes, feels. I was just so, going to say that. Yeah, it does. It really does. So mm -hmm. just set in Scotland, which, oh, yeah. 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 I mean, if I had the choice between the Catherine Cowles world and a Samantha Young, I'm going with Samantha because Scotland. Just say. Unless people seem to be dying. <laughs> I mean, that happens in Catherine Cowles. So again, Scotland. <laughs> I know. So, all right. Okay. So the next book I have is a little different. Like as far as um, it just it just kept me on edge. I'm only going to talk about it for like a half a minute here because I don't want to give anything away. But this one was extremely suspenseful, and that is the Five by Lily White. It's about Rainy and her therapist Justin, uh, and other people may or may not pop in now to this one, but. Rainy is the lone survivor in a massacre, and Justin is the therapist who is brought in to try to figure out what happened to Rainy and what happened in this massacre. And we just go round and round. Nothing is as it seems. Um, I remember reading this book or listening to this book going, oh my gosh, like it was quite the, the book. Um, that's all I'm really gonna, hi, that's all I'm really gonna say about it. If I say anything else, I'm gonna give it away. Uh, I just remember being blown out of the water reading this book. So, okay. Okay. I have it sitting on my shelf. I need to read it. I know. So, okay. I know you'll get to it eventually. Okay. Um, so my next book is the wild side by RK Lily. And this is about Alice dare or dare as everybody calls him. He is divorced He's in his, he just turned 40, I think. And he, he's just, he's lacking a lot of self-confidence. So he spends a lot of time in the gym, lifting weights, that sort of thing. And there's this hot little young thing in there who he thinks is just way too young for him. But, you know, he notices her, but she also notices him. And 
he has ex-wife kind of has done a number on him so his self-confidence isn't quite there so he doesn't really think that she could possibly be interested in him and she full-on pursues him like hard and it takes him a little bit before he comes around to like being on board with this but eventually he offers her a ride home and she's like okay uh, let's go to your house. And he's like, oh, I don't know. But, you know, he eventually gives in and takes her to his house. And then she disappears on him. So poor dear. So most, this is three books. It's a trilogy. They're not super long. But most of this book is them having their times together, which you would feel like gets repetitive, but it's, <laughs> the author does a great job of making every time seem very different. I loved it. And then the rest of the time is him spent wondering where has she gone and trying to figure out what has happened to her. Why is she in danger? Is she in danger? Is she just like with another guy? Like he doesn't know what's going on and he's trying to figure out if he needs to help her or if he's getting played and all of that so there's a lot of a drama but definitely that suspense because something is actually going on and we don't know what it is mm -hmm. something's happening mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the okay. wild side is wild but i really enjoyed it okay so the next now i know that i don't normally think of this author in romantic suspense but this one brought it uh, so this is a Grace McGinty book. Don't, don't. Yes, it is Reverse Harem. The second book in this um, duet comes out on the, I believe, the 18th of August. And so I'm dying for it. But let me tell you about the Tangled Threads of Fate. So this is about Ren. Ren is living her best life. She's just trying to survive. She lives in, I think she's in Boston. And she lives in like this old house has been turned into an apartment complex. So like on the bottom level is this little old Irish lady who takes care of her. She's like a second mom to her because her parents have passed and this lady took her in. And she has the apartment that is in the MB. Nope, on the top. It's on the top level. Um, it's just a little apartment on the top of this house. And then in between is Nate. And Nate is the nephew to this little old lady. He is also Irish. If that does it for you, it does it for me. So that that's a good thing. Um, and she's had a crush on Nate for quite a while. He's hot. He's this hot Irish dude. And uh, one day she goes, like she hasn't been feeling well and she finds out that she's pregnant, but she hasn't had sex in over a year. So how, how is she pregnant? And uh, when Nate finds out, he feels a pull towards her that he just cannot describe. And um, after she finds out she's pregnant, these things start attacking and then they have to go to Crete. So here's the deal, Nate is a demigod she doesn't know it. She's got this mysterious pregnancy. Um, powers are after her. They have to get to Crete because that is where they could be protected. There's another, there's a group of guys that are also like demigods that are supposed to be protecting her there. People are after the, the, the baby, I guess, Wh whatever's going on with this pregnancy. Like it's a whole thing. And I'm here for it because you never know what's going to happen next. You never know who's going to be attacked next. You never know. What's, I, I, I got to know. Who's the daddy? That's that's what I really gotta know. Mm -hmm. It is reverse harem, guys. If I didn't say that already, but so that was the main romantic suspense element for you. Is no, dad? it's more like you know, like for for me personally, yeah. Who's the dad? How did she get pregnant? But not only that, like, why are they after her? What what is going on here? Um, you know, she is, doesn't know anything about this whole demigod situation. Like she's just a human. Why? There's, there's a lot going on in this book. Cannot wait for later this month okay. for the conclusion. So. Okay. What's your last book? Okay. My last book is probably one of the most suspenseful books I've ever read. I absolutely loved it, but just an FYI, it is listed on Goodreads as romantic suspense. It is a romance author that wrote it, but she will tell you right in the blurb, this is not a romance. I'm still gonna put it in here because it's incredibly good. Just don't go in expecting a traditional Hia. Okay, all right. Okay. So that is The Unraveling by Vi Keeland. Oh my God, this book is phenomenal. So we have Meredith, she is a therapist and she has been suspended 
for a little time and she had somebody take over her practice during that time and she is back but unfortunately she has lost quite a bit of clients during that time and so she's desperate to rebuild her practice when she sees Gabriel walking down the street. Gabriel and her have a shared trauma like a traumatic experience happened that involved both of them but they do not know each other and she sees Gabriel and he looks truly happy and he's laughing and she's confused as to how he has how he has managed to recover and so she starts following him to figure out if he is truly happy and in order to kind of ease her own conscience well guess who shows up at her practice, Gabriel. Now, this is a huge conflict of interest, but she's desperate for clients and she's desperate to make sure he is actually okay. So she agrees to see him. And then everything, all hell breaks loose, basically. That's all I'm going to tell you. You've got to read this book. It is so good and it is incredibly suspenseful. Incredibly suspenseful. Like, Jaw dropping, suspenseful. Loved it. Okay. All right, guys. Different from what Viking normally writes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that's it. So those are our ten romantic suspense books for yes. this video. Yeah. So in the comments, let us know: Is this a trope you like? What are some of your favorites? Tell us all about it. We love interacting with you in the comments. Make sure you hit mm -hmm. that notification button so you always know when we drop those surprise videos. And always check back on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays because we always have videos those days. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you. In the